10 Biggest Changes Boy Swallows Universe Makes to the Book The Netflix series Boy Swallows Universe differs in a few minor ways from the celebrated novel of the same name written by Trent Dalton. Dalton wrote Boy Swallows Universe as a semi-autobiographical account of his childhood in 1980s Brisbane, combining real-life events with magical realism and a wide web of gritty underground corruption. Boy Swallows Universe was adapted for the screen by John Colley, Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World, and was brought to Netflix by Australian actor, director, and producer Joel Edgerton. Boy Swallows Universe includes a phenomenal cast led by Felix Cameron as the protagonist and Dalton's alter ego Eli Bell, who is portrayed by Zach Burgess as an older teenager in the last two episodes. Boy Swallows Universe was adapted into a seven-part miniseries from a book with over 450 pages. Critics and viewers alike have commended the series for its close representation of not only the events but the emotions of the original work as well. Other significant cast members include Phoebe Tonkin as Frances Bell, Lee Tiger Haley as Gus Bell, and Simon Baker as Robert Bell. Another major difference between the Boy Swallows Universe series and the book regarding that scene is the fact that Titus Braz was also there in the novel. In the series, Braz's working relationship with Yvonne Kroll is not officially discovered until later in the series when Caitlin spies, Sophie Wilde, finds financial information linking the two men. In the book, however, Titus is present at Lyle's house when Kroll and his henchmen take him away and is the person who tells Kroll to cut off part of Eli's finger. The Boy Swallows Universe Netflix adaptation offers a unique blend of coming-of-age sentimentality and gory, frightening action sequences. The television series leans more into the young adult tropes than Dalton's novel does which arguably enhances the overall narrative. Dalton's book carries an overall bleaker tone than the Netflix series, which works hard to still include some of the more innocent moments of Eli's adolescence despite being inescapably surrounded by broken and corrupt people. Teddy proves to be one of the most despicable and pathetic characters in Boy Meets Universe, and his portrayal in the Netflix series as an entitled and abusive coward is pretty spot on with his characterization in Carlton's book. One major difference, however, is the extent of Teddy's violence between the series and the semi-autobiographical novel. While Teddy is clearly physically abusive to Frankie in the Netflix series by hitting and pushing her around, he actually knocks some of Frankie's teeth out in the novel, a viciousness that isn't captured on screen. Eli's charismatic drive and unyielding sense of optimism are the core aspects of his character and the clear links between the younger and older versions of himself in the Boy Swallows universe series. From playing peacemaker in a street fight between rival gangs to convincing Raymond Leary to open up about his connection to Titus and Kroll, Eli's inspirational spirit is undefeatable in the Netflix series. In Dalton's novel, Eli does carry the same optimism but he is also given more realistic elements of his character that ultimately make him more of a complex protagonist.